We're going to, now that we've worked with our horse, uh, or played I should say, in this little round yard here, we're going to use this to do some no contact riding and to advance on some of the skills that we um, did in the saddle in our level one. And we're going to practice um, doing our indirect and direct trains and um, getting our horse going forward. So we're going to do basically the same sorts of things on our horse's back now. Once you have, can do your basic skills here in the round yard without any lead rope and you've, you've done your, your uh, lessons one, two, three and four in, um, in your level one, especially your ridden section, sections of your level one and you've, you've gone through and checked off your homework cards, um, you might want to try riding these guys uh, bareback in one of these yards. It's a great way to ha uh, discover your independent sheep or, <laughs> or lack of, and uh, it's a nice, it's a great feeling to be able to ride a horse uh, bareback. And remember, this would be something that you could probably progressively do. Um, you know, if you could just just sit up here for the first time and and go through your um, your homework cards and and check it off bit by bit. Just sit up here for the first time, and then maybe just walk around for a little while. And then a trot. Okay, but today we're going to go through the whole lot. We're going to just see if we can hop up here first. Up. Um, something that would be good if you're not real confident up here would be to, to put a pad on a, on the horse, a bareback pad, and not one with stirrups, one without stirrups. Um, a nice suede. We make um, nice suede pads here at Quantum Savvy that have 100% um, wool um, felt underneath. So they're nice and comfortable for the horse because it's you know it might be a bit bony for them sometimes, and it'd be nice if you weren't wobbling around too much too. So if you could maybe put one of those on, that would be nice. And I'm sure one of the guys here today will have one of those. Need to be able to have your horse stay still while you move around him and jump up and down. And wiggle around. Probably pays not to wash them too much just first. <laughs> and out. Good boy, Spider. That's a long way up there. There's no reason you couldn't use a, a mounting block or something like that to get up here or on a fence or something. And see, here he's looking like he's going to go forward a bit, so I don't, might just make it a bit better and get his weight back a bit here, just one of his feet. This is nothing worse than hopping up there and having him walk off. That's the one. Good boy. Hop up here, hurry up and do nothing. Make sure you can throw your rope over left and right. Once they can not yield, and you can rub them, and they're happy with that. Both sides. We'll try a contact yield. And here you'll notice I've got the, the rein, like I've got two reins, but I've only got one. And if, if you're doing a, a fair bit of this, you might even try that with just your, your string from your halter to your lead, uh, yeah, from your halter. So here I'm going to lift this up, reach down as we did in level one, and close my fingers slowly from a lateral flexion. Here I'm going to hold this mane so I don't wobble around too much. And I'm going to bring this rein towards my belly button and my leg towards my horse's belly button and try out an indirect rein. My first bareback indirect rein. Here we go. 
and then finish with a neutral ray lateral flex good boy spider try our other side and the other way neutral rain and I'm going to try an indirect rain so I'm making contact now with my leg and my rain comes towards my belly button and turn your fingernails up. Relax. <laughs> Do that both sides. Neutral. Indirect. We can do a full circle this time. And then I'm going to walk out on a direct rein. Out to my right. I'd like for him to go forward out that way. Great. We're off. And here, just a passenger lesson. He can walk anywhere he likes. As long as it's to my right at the moment. Here I'm going to relax. Reach down my rope. It comes to a stop. That's nice. I'm just going to check my lateral flexion anyway. Right. It's a lot of fun, isn't it? Neutral, indirect. Oop, direct. Walk on out. Here, once I've asked him to walk, it's a no yield, which means all he has to do is walk. I could even rub him as I go along with a rhythmic motion. Here I'm going to relax, lift my rein. He stops, that's good. But I just might check my lateral flexion anyway. Good. Check our back up. We lift that rein straight up, same as in level one. Great. Looks like fun. We're going to get the students out here to have a go at this in a moment. So we've done our hind quarter yield, our fore quarter yield. I'm going to hold on to this mane now. I'm going to do a little bit of a passenger lesson. I'd like for him to keep going to my left. But I'm focus to my left and I could even use my legs to try and steer him to the, to the left there. To bring my life up, squeeze. If he doesn't go, I'll start using rhythmic pressure with my hand. And once he goes, just relax. I'd like for him to keep going left today at the moment. Here I'm going to rub, relax, see if I can come down to a walk and keep on walking. Pretty much like the transitions we did just a moment ago. Bring my life up. Use my rhythmic pressure there. And we're off to a trot again. Just get a feel for this, for you and your horse to have a feel. To feel it there back riding. Here I'm going to rub. Down to a stop. I don't know about you, but this this is exciting stuff. This is starting to apply our basic skills to riding with nothing more than our halter and lead rope. Gonna get the students out here now to have a have a play around and do their no yield and their contact yield from on top of their horse.
All right, we've just been up here doing a bit of bareback riding, practicing our contact yields and our no, and our no yield. And uh, we'll, let's see how the students went. How'd you go, Emily? Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. Yeah? yeah, good fun? I see you got up to a canter there. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, he looks pretty happy with that. You've done a bit of this before? Um, yep. Yep. Yeah. And uh, you've got a bareback pad on there. Has that, how's that feel? Oh, that's really good. Yeah. Stop me sliding around. Stop you sliding around? Mm, good. Yeah, great. Especially with the jodpers on, eh? Yeah. Yep. Great. Good job. Have you tried, like, jumping with that on as well? Yep. Yeah? Yeah, nice. Oh, you're jump. pretty game, aren't you? <laughs> Alright. How'd you go there, Desiree? Okay. He just wants to like real small circles one side. Okay. And you've only got your rein on one side, haven't you? So you is it the side that the rein's on? Yeah. Yep. So it's hard to steer him out the other way. Yep. 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 All right. That, that's, a, that's a good question. So, um, ha the question is how do we get him to not do these little circles? Yep, great. If you find that sort of situation happening, so Desiree um, was saying here that uh, when she's riding around in the um, bareback here, her horse just does these small little circles. And you know, some of you might experience that. If you do, if you could keep riding, and uh, asking your horse to go forward because what it is is a, is a lack of want to go forward and when your horse comes out maybe just a little bit bigger circle you might come down to a halt and give them a rest then and give them a rub and throw your rein over and do the other side but basically more passenger lesson will really help with this um, to establish your horse being comfortable and confident to go forward so if you find your horse doing little circles and it's real tempting to sort of try and push them back out to the to the outside of that circle with your inside rein. I'd like for you to avoid doing that for now but and focus on the, the principle of it to go forward. So if you could ride your horse forward and when he comes out away from that little small circle that they're doing, then you could reward him with either a stop or a change of direction. Shirley, how'd you do up there? Yeah, have you ridden him many times bareback? No. No? no that First time you've ever like hopped on and done something with him bareback. Wow, that should, did that take a bit of confidence? Or you're okay with that? Yeah. You're okay. He's lighter than what you than what than what you thought. Okay. So in steering wise. So you had to be careful of where your weight was and fantastic. That's good. And when we come to in the saddle, we might try and remember those sorts of things and that'll, that might help us out. Great. Good job. Once you've had a play around with the bareback riding and you've, you've done it at a nice slow pace and maybe even used the bareback pad which, pad, which is a great idea, um, you've done your contact yields, um, you've, you can rub your horse while you're going along at a walk and a trot and bring him down to a, to a halt by just relaxing and you've done some passenger lessons, you may want to then bring it up to a canter and get to the stage where you, you feel comfortable at the canter and your horse goes forward willingly if he's still doing those small little circles. Um, you may need to do a bit more practice. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to ask Emily to bring it up to a canter for us and we're going to have a look at this and, and then we're going to ask her to bend the horse to a stop when she's, after she's cantered for a while. So. A good challenge would be to see if you can uh, canter for maybe 10 seconds and then 20 or 30 and then maybe a whole minute. And you should start getting comfortable by then. Or do more. Okay, so we're just going to ask Emily to do some transitions here. Now, em, if you could go from a walk and then to a trot and then up to a canter. So nice smooth transitions up. Okay, and when we come back down, we're going to bend the horse down from a canter to a halt. Okay. See if you can go for about four laps, okay? Mm 
enemies at. If you could reach down and bend your horse to a stop and close your fingers slowly. Good job. All right. How was that? That was really good. Yeah. All right. So once you can do your your walk, your trot transitions, you might want to try this this canter like Emily has here and bend your horse to a stop. That would be wonderful. That's the last part of lesson six. I hope you've got some homework to do. And um, I hope you enjoy it.